From the Oscar-winning makers of Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Run comes the Pirates Band of Misfits. And this time they've snagged Hugh Grant in his first animated role as the pirate captain. Excuse me, my doubt. Captain coming through. Thank you very much. Together with his trusty crew, the pirate captain sets sail through the high seas from Blood Island in an effort to earn himself the much coveted Pirate of the Year award. Pirate captain is infinitely optimistic. Uh, and the film begins with him announcing that uh, they're entering the, the Pirate of the Year award again. And his crew are a little bit dubious because it's always gone so badly. Uh, but they, they're with him all the way. After a chance meeting with Charles Darwin, the band of misfits think they may just have what it takes to take out the award and start the hunt for fame and riches in London, home of the pirate loathing Queen Victoria. She doesn't like pirates, she doesn't want them anywhere near her um, because they're stopping her getting all her kingdoms. That's right, they're trying to take over the seas and all, you know, all the empires and the pirates are stopping her, so that doesn't bode well. It's taken five years to bring the pirates to life and to help explain why I caught up with one of the animators, Australian Daz Burgess. What's the process from start to finish once the script is written? Wow, OK. Uh, we're talking a few years of process. Script written, storyboards created, voices are recorded build which includes puppets and sets and then, then there's the shoot which is 18 months worth of shoot and 350 people to do it and then of course you've got post production. With everything being so detailed and fiddly did you ever lose any of the little pieces? Yes I did. The eyelids were tiny, these tiny little, I don't know if you can see it on the pirate captain there. I mean he was about that big so if you take down the scale of his eyelid there were these tiny little things and you'd walk up to the puppet library with sort of you know your head down going I've lost an eyelid they go oh, okay and they just I had this shelves and shelves of eyelids and go, here you go, don't lose it again. <laughs> From the character's amazing facial range to the set pieces and the incredibly large scale pirate ship, nothing has been forgotten about. And team with an incredibly entertaining storyline, this pirate caper is sure to have audiences of all ages falling for it hook, line and sinker.